Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. For today, I want to get into how to build the City Skylines or industry. Let's get started. So the very first thing you're going to need to know is you're going to need the City Skylines Industry DLC. And what you see in front of you is a giant island filled with roads or what we think are roads. And you can see it is absolutely stocked with ore and obviously if you look up that is the only ore we have in this entire map holy cow yeah that is literally the only spot holy cow okay anyways let's get started with building on this ore industry so you could clearly see we had a lot of ore now as you zoom in you're gonna see oh those are not roads oh god those are ditches like oh god i thought those were roads and i thought this was gonna be an extremely easy build so what we need to do is we need to actually get rid of all of those ditches and the easiest way to do it is using the city skylines move it mod and what we're going to do is we're going to grab every single thing so all of those paths some of the queue walls pretty much everything on this island we're going to try to stretch and whoop that's a little that might be a little too much a little too aggressive for my taste but we're going to get rid of everything so now that we got rid of all of those trenches, the warehouse building, and literally everything, even the trees, we got rid of that, we have a clean slate to start working. So you can see here that the ground is slightly indented. All of our ore mining extraction equipment, like the ore mines and stuff like that, those will be in the indent or like kind of like the quarry part of our build. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch over and I'm going to start to build a city skylines or industry road layout. So what I'm doing is I'm speeding this up a tiny bit because I figured everybody's seen a road layout before, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to eventually slow it down. Like you could see everybody under the moon knows how to make that. But what I want to show you is city planner plays does this all the time. So you go to terrain heights and you can see the heights of the terrain and you can see everything indented in and we can see the basically the terrain of this or well our future or mine so what we're gonna do is we are going to follow the terrain and i know that sounds a little weird but this is a very city skylines you know city planner place type move and what i wanted to do was eventually all of the mines that we have around here i'm going to eventually place them in there as best as possible so that you know we can just make it look nice and make it look more natural other than just like having a weird like ramp up and it just just looks unrealistic so when you're kind of snaking through the dirt roads kind of like this it looks a little bit more natural that's just my personal opinion so now that we have our basic layout in place so again we're going to put all the extractors on these roads and there's going to be more of this layout built up soon enough and i just I, I like how we just snaked around the train and the train was our friend eventually you know that that's what i'm just trying to get at the train was our friend and we used it really nice what we're going to do to finish this up is i want to create an entrance and an exit to this ore mine and what we'll do is we'll have a one way in and a one way out so right now i'm just creating that that system in place again trying to not completely destroy the terrain and just kind of you know like i said two seconds ago just kind of go with the train and make sure that it just kind of looks as natural as possible and it doesn't just look like we're throwing in there and you know making it look better so now that we have that in place i think that overall this looks okay and we have room to expand you can see to the right that we have all this land to the right where we can you know once we upgrade to a medium you know or i should say like a, a two star or three star ore mine we get those bigger extractors so we wanted to leave room for growth in our mine so that's why i left that blank so like obviously when you're a one star like i think all of us know when you are a one star industry you have like no buildings to work with <laughs> like that is just the truth so so what we're doing now is we are going to create a main arterial road so once again, we are gonna we notice that on the outskirts is where a majority of the like outside the mine, I should say, is a majority of our flatland. 
So what I'm doing right here is I'm just making sure that we're following the train and we're not really abusing it too much. I think that's like the name of the game. Now you can see on the screen that using the turn tool or the curve tool, it didn't work out great, but what you could, what you could do is you can use the node controller mod and use the create a curve and look how easy that was. One, two, three, easy peasy. But then you have a minor problem. Some For some reason, it decided to <laughs> that it didn't want to actually work. And you can see that there is a small bridge and it won't let me upgrade it. So let me quickly fix this for you. So now that we fixed that road that was not cooperating, we there's our main arterial road that we're gonna build around. So what we wanna do is in this upper peninsula area, I actually want to create a highway on and off ramp where we can bring highway traffic from the main part of our city. And the reason behind this is that, remember guys, we are on an island. So I don't want to create a giant bridge and completely destroy the topography and make it look ugly. So I feel like the tunnel was definitely the best way to go and the easiest way to go. So now after a little bit of, it was, it was, it was being a little finicky and I, and I did decide to change the roads to a highway road. So now that we have a highway in place, so we have a four lane highway going to and from, and I feel like that was the better option. Um, I didn't I didn't feel like showing you guys that I deleted everything and started over, but I just wanna show you what the end result was. So I feel like having that as a highway, you can see right here that we can increase that to 100 miles an hour. We can increase the speed of that to even faster. So again, I feel like the highway option was definitely a much better way to go. So just, um, you know, just keep that in mind, you know, use highway roads. Don't use that giant medium sized road. So fast forwarding a little bit, we have our entire arterial road in place. What I wanted to do was I wanted to show you my quick on and off ramp for our ore industry. And so what I did decided to do was I decided to create a roundabout and I wanted a one way roundabout system or well one-way road in place so that we're not going to have insane amounts of traffic going in and out of our ore extracting area so i just created this little roundabout created a one way in and out of our ore mine and you know essentially we're doing this for traffic i mean let's be honest guys like if you've ever created any city skylines industry you know that there's a bazillion things of traffic and it just, it gets messy, it gets messy. So I was trying to, I thought that roundabout, even though it kind of was a little cheesy, I thought the roundabout was a good idea just to make it a little, you know, traffic a little bit more, um, I don't know, orderly, I don't know. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Just make it a little bit more functional. There we go. I think that that's a much better word, functional. So make sure that, you know, we'll, we won't die traffic wise. So next, what we need to do is everybody knows this, so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. You have to make sure you are districting and we're making sure that we are districting for the ore industry. So remember to do that. I think sometimes we forget about it and just think we can build it. So just, again, I just wanna show you that really quickly. I know everybody under the sky knows how to do that already. So just letting you know. So now, now we might actually be ready to actually build the or industry so let's we just have a few more things we need to get done we need to then we're able to start building so the last roadway we actually do need to create is the actual individual highway on and off ramp so all i really wanted to do was i wanted just to create a very simple connection i i guess i guess i guess i could have just extended out that highway road and just made <laughs> Oh my God, in hindsight. So I, I do voiceover. So when I'm creating City Skylines videos, I've already built this. And just thinking this over, I could have literally just extended that highway and everything would have been fine. Like, you know, like the normal four-way highway road, I could have just connected to our arterial, arterial road and it would have been fine. So in hindsight, I could have done that. But I like those individual lanes. Those do look nice. So when you are starting to build a, an ore industry you do need to start we have nothing right now so once you have you know we do you do know let me know comment section below what do we need to do next and the answer is build a main building yes whoever said main building 
um yeah let's do that so here's your main building um essentially cost 200 dollars a week you need this to function it you know essentially that's how an industry functions so i wanted to put that in the very beginning part of our build so what we need to do next is we have a small ore mine and i do want to start placing small ore mines around our ore pit i guess we'll call it a pit but we'll call it an ore quarry so you're going to see that that we're just going to start to place them in some of the openings where it looks the most natural again we're not trying to absolutely destroy the terrain. We're just trying to make them look as natural as possible. And again, some of these might actually get upgraded to medium or large ore mines or extractors. So these could be temporary also. So we're, we're just building as many as possible. And just a heads up, guys. Heads up. Just a heads up. This will cost you a lot of money, just to let you know. So make sure you have a lot of money saved up. Anyways, what we're doing next is we have at least five or six ore mines. So now once we have ore mines, what we need to do is we need to have a place for storage. So what I wanted to do is I want to create a lot of the storage near our highway exit. Now you're going to be like, well, why do you want to do that? That's like, like you're asking sports monkey. Why, why would we do that? Well, this way, once everything is stored, we can have trucks go in and well, not in, but at least out onto the highway in a much easier fashion. And what I mean by that is it's a direct exit. Like you can see that we have no way out. We have two one-way streets and eventually I do upgrade the roads to a dirt path, but you get what I'm saying though. So what we're going to do is we're going to create all of the storage is going to be over here and we will eventually be placing that down. And as you can see, here are all of our storage containers and we're going to place down at least three or four of them just to start. Remember, we are a level one or industry. We really don't. We have like three or four options, honestly. Like we have three or four options to, to create or industry, um, you know, buildings and stuff like that. So again, we want everything. We want all the extract or extraction, all the storage buildings to actually, you know, just go to the highway, like I said. And I will eventually fix um, our highway exit. It does look a little wonky. It looks like two fingered. It looks like Edward Scissorhand fingertips. Oh, that, you know, like, oh, that does look pretty ugly. But anyways, um, I will fix. I end up fixing that later on. But that is kind of a weird. Does anybody know what Edward Scissorhands is? It's a Johnny Depp movie where the guy literally had scissor hands um so oh god yeah i i'm probably dating myself that's definitely an old movie i've it's honestly older than me but i've i've seen it on tv so anyways enough of johnny depp and edward scissor hands and let's keep going with this build okay so now now we have our storage buildings in place what we need are processing plants so we're gonna have we we're obviously getting the raw ore material from the ground from our mines what we're going to do is with that extracted material is we are going to build processing plants so here are three processing plants that will be using the raw ore to create metal now right here i do like where they're placed i just don't like that cliffside so what i decided to do was use q wall anarchy and build a really cool looking q wall and just try to get it as square as possible so it looks like it's on a shelf like you know it, that cliffside like would you what buildings out there in the world would actually have like buildings just off a cliff like that especially like an industrial building so i wanted to add those q walls to give it some support you know what i mean and you can see that i'm messing around with the q walls making sure everything is the same height and making sure everything looks good like i expanded that like we had some tearing from the ground and stuff like that but overall i wanted to make sure that these buildings were the same height and that they did look good so now that we have extractors in place we have pretty much everything set up for our city skylines or industry so what i wanted to do was like i mentioned before i wanted to use that four lane highway system and I wanted to connect it up to the main part of our city. And as you can see over here, well, uh, we had some issues. I'm not really sure what happened over here, but I don't know. It, it just kind of looked weird. Anyways, I'm not sure what happened to that intersection, but what I'm trying to do here is I'm just speeding this up so we can have our highway connected up and we can actually get to a spot 
where we can actually turn the ore industry on and then we could start detailing it up what you're going to see here though is just me connecting this this intersection i'm not sure even if all these highway on and off ramps are even necessary because i i just don't think we'll use it but let's just connect it up anyways let's let's avoid the confusion and just connect everything up what you're going to see is i'm going to use the move it tool just to make it look a little bit better and then i'm going to grab node controller hit that plus sign just to make sure everything looks okay and obviously fix that one way road what i'm also going to do is i'm going to create a train line yes a train line because eventually i do want to create trains and get cargo in and out of our ore industry yes i mean it's kind of an amazing process if you think about it um basically instead of just having cars go in and out well i should not say cars but trucks go in and out of our ore industry trains is an excellent source of transporting goods just to let you know that trains definitely transport way more goods than um just trucks and obviously all of those trucks do create crazy amounts of traffic so what i'm doing over here is i am creating another cargo train station where this way you know if we get trains here we can get we can actually import and export our oil industry goods as well so this is a twofer what i mean by that is a two for one and what you get from a twofer is you get we're gonna have the ore and the oil industry in these on the same exact train line and now what i'm doing next is it's kind of interesting so i didn't I didn't know what to do with the train line and I figured that this barrier. So the reason why I'm creating this hill for the train line is for two reasons, because we're near a water source and it's near a river. Now I know the river is not flooding. I completely and utterly understand that. But if you have that much oil industry equipment and there isn't, there is a flood because if you've ever been, well, not myself, but I'm sure out there in the world, people have seen floods that happen, you know, along riverbanks. So I feel like using that, those walls, those are kind of like flood walls in a way where it just kind of helps the oil industry. If there ever was a flood, it would, it would help protect it essentially. So that's why I built that, um, you know, I built that hill essentially and, um, or on a hill, I should say. So I thought it was a good idea. Please let me know in the comment section below. What did you think of that idea? So now as we finish up our trains, what we're going to do is we're going to start to detail the actual quarry itself and the ore industry itself. So if you're this far into my video, please hit that like button. If you're getting anything out of it, just that'd be greatly appreciated help against the YouTube algorithm. So I just want to go over some of my detailing. So the ore industry, what is ore? Ore is considered a rock that turns into a metal. So when you're detailing, make sure you you have that around there. So any type of tear in this quarry, like you can see that where I'm placing down the tear marks, so you can kind of see like, it's like a light, when, when it goes to a lighter brown and you can see it tearing away from the hillside itself, that's where I tried to put as many rocks as possible. And as you can see, obviously this is sped up a little bit because I cannot click this fast in real time. <laughs> oh my God. Whew. Yeah, I definitely cannot click this fast. Anyways, um, I know it's a very tedious thing, but when you'll see, when you see the end result, it looks absolutely amazing. So definitely don't be afraid to line up your, you know, just raw adding rocks, adding shrubs. Just make sure you're not afraid to do this detailing. I think it actually helps the build look a lot more realistic because remember, we are mining rocks and where do you think we'll be around these rocks? Well, well not around, but around these ore mines rocks. So again, I'm just trying to make it as realistic as possible. Just these minor detailings. I know it gets a little tedious, but it'll definitely, definitely, definitely be worth your while. Again, adding these shrubs too, just kind of changes it up, tries to add more color to it. You know, just it's a very, very, very good combination of, you know, just detailing in general. So the last part I wanted to show you that I detailed was kind of our barracks area. And what you'll see is again, it's off a cliffside. So I didn't want the cliffside just, you know, I didn't want the buildings right next to the cliffside. I didn't think that looked great. So what I did was I built it, I built it. Wow. I built a Q wall and I decided 
just to kind of add the rocks on the side of it just for reinforcement. But I just thought the Q wall, it's so much better than just having a cliffside. I don't know. That's my opinion. And detailing wise, it just looks so much more crisp and just looks, it looks just so much better. And I really do love the way that this whole build turned out. So let's get to the final product. So here is our final city skylines or industry. And as you could see coming in to, through our entrance and around and going down the side and everything turned out really well. I really liked it. Our traffic flow is really great. It looks somewhat aesthetically pleasing. I would say, I would say as best as possible aesthetic wise, like detailing wise, I think we did a pretty good job. Um, I did add that, um, cargo train station and that thing is clutch because again, we need to get goods in and out of our ore industry. And as you can see, here are some of our mines. They are completely working and you can see that we're getting the ore mineral and we're mining it. Basically we're getting, you know, and all the rocks and all the detailing, it looks Really, it looks so much better than it did before we started. Now we do have that opening over there. You can see that's for future building. Um, what I mean by for the future is once I become a four star or industry, um, I can add bigger, you know, just bigger buildings essentially. And, you know, get bigger extractors and stuff like that. I do like my little path around our barrack area. It does look really nice. It, it, it does look like it's on a shelf. It does look really good. Again, I just wanted to support those buildings because, well, you don't, you know, like you don't want, you know, say if, I don't know, I'm just hypothetically thinking like, what if, you know, it collapsed or something like that. But overall we have our kilns and stuff like that. We have more storage and I put all those buildings together because they look very industrial. So it kind of looked good that they were together and we have additional storage and our power and water treatment plants. Overall, guys, what do you guys think of this build? I really loved this whole thing. I thought it looked beautiful. Um, you know, we're making tons and tons of money off of it. So definitely was very excited about this build in general. Um, we're making about $9,000 so far and we're not even fully built up yet, guys. So guys, please let me know in the comment section below. Did you like this build? Did you appreciate it? What was your favorite part? Please hit that like button. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.